ship is unique in numerous ways from other ships that I've been on. Our RV is a remotely operated vehicle. Um, it's tethered to the ship. Coming up on the RV. It can move underwater. It has video camera capabilities. So it's essentially a robot underwater that pilots control on, on the ship side. Yeah, Andrew, uh, I'd love to get a, a zoom on the, um, the solitary hydroid there at some point. Okay. Coming around to the center. My name is Andrea Quattrini. I'm a PhD student at Temple University. I study deep sea coral ecosystems. And now it's low to full wide. I'm a ship-based science team lead. My role is to communicate and coordinate with uh, scientists onshore, as well as uh, the ROV team to make sure that ROV operations go smoothly and science objectives are met. If you see now, okay. I'd also like to know where is this rock coming from? Um, I don't know we're down at 1800 meters or so, and it must be just something coming that rolled downhill. But I'm really wondering um, what this rock is made of. Are we looking at continental type crust here, or are we looking at uh, something else? The telepresence component here is definitely a unique experience. Scientists back on shore are listening in and communicating with us in real time as the ROV is exploring the bottom of the seafloor. Also, it allows the public and the viewers to see in real time what we're observing and to explore the dive with us. We are currently at a depth of 1,875 meters. Here in the control van, uh, this is where all the action happens. For any new listeners uh, joining us, we are off of the northeast U.S. coast in the canyon system. We are on the lower continental slope. We're off the coast uh, in waters off of New Jersey, Just up through on. Rhode Island. Video. The ROV pilots are, are manipulating and maneuvering the ROV, and the science scientists sit in the back end and help plan and, and lead ROV dives from a science perspective. So we have about an hour left in the dive, so we'll start moving back up slope and then heading toward the top of the feature. We really hope to characterize and discover new habitats, including deep sea coral communities, potential cold seep habitats, or chemosynthetic communities. And we also are exploring uh, geological features um, pertaining to uh, landslide areas along the continental slope. Even though this may have been in place quite a while ago, there's still um, sort of active processes going on even at the, the smaller boulder scale. We're going to hopefully see several deep water coral communities. Deep water corals are, many of them are long lived and slow growing and thus they're susceptible or vulnerable to anthropogenic disturbances. We also could see chemosynthetic communities and these communities are found um, in cold seep areas. They house unique and, and different communities from other areas of the deep sea floor. Both of these are types of biological hotspots, so you get a bio, high biodiversity of animals in these areas compared to um, other fauna that you see on the surrounding seafloor. There will be insight. No thrust on. Copy that. Yeah, we can go ahead and bring serious aboard. Pilot, dive super. Go ahead, dive super. And we can secure power. Copy that. High voltage is off.